Coaches, this is Lucas Labé, assistant coach with USA Women's National Team. In the next few minutes, I will try to describe USA Women's National Team defensive default system. We like to put our defenders where most of the balls go, allowing them to make good reads and adjustments if those adjustments are needed. One of the areas where most of the balls are being hit is zone 6. We also call that area middle-middle. We ask our middle-middle defender to be stopped with arms down, facing the ball, facing the attacker, and reading the game on the other side of the net. By being stopped with arms down, our defenders are in really good position to dig the ball high and off the net. As already mentioned before, we like our defenders to be close to where most of the swings are going. Also in this example, you can see Michelle Barge to be standing in the middle of the court facing the attacker. She's not required to stand in a spot where the ball is going to be end up going because she doesn't know that until the ball is actually swung at and touched by the blockers. Just by sitting in the middle, she's making a nice read and nice move with her platform. In the very next clip, we're going to see another good defensive move, this time by Jordan Larson. She's in zone 6, reading the attacker, and makes an emergency move when that is required. But she's not running up and down the court, chasing something that might not happen. Jordan is stopped, reading, waiting for deflection, extends the game, and keeps USA alive with the opportunity to get a nice transition kill. Also, when defending opponents' middle blockers, same defensive principles apply. We are stopped, we are reading and reacting to what we read. This was a really nice example of our middle blocker and right side blocker helping on gap, Kim trusting our block, reading and popping the ball high and off the net, creating another good transition opportunity for USA team. Next, we will look at our zone 1 defender, our right back defender defending opponent's offense. In this case, Lauren Carlini, she stopped in a position that we call 2x2, two, two, two feet off the sideline and 2 feet off the 3 meter line or 10 foot line. She stopped, reading the setter, reacting to what is being set with arms down and makes a nice simple move, digging the ball high and off the net. In the very next clip we're going to look at Lauren Carlini again but this time she's defending attempted swing down the line. But meanwhile things change. Kim number 10 from Korea hits the ball that deflects off our blockers hands which requires from Lauren to react to what actually happens. To be able to do that, you got to have an exceptional read in place, an emergency move like this one. Karsta Low, it's our defender in zone 1. There is an attack on the left side. Karsta makes an exceptional read from our default defensive position and reacts with a nice defensive move. Again, she stopped in 2 by 2 adapts and pulls back to defend deep ball down the line, but meanwhile notices that Serbia outside hitter's arm is not coming back. That equals tip. Karsta makes nice early read and allows us to have another transition swing. We're going to look at another good example of right back defender digging a ball. This time our setter Jordan Poulter is right back defender, starting in 2x2, two two, adjusting to go dig the ball down the line. Meanwhile, she notices that this set is off the net. Attacker slows down on approach, arm never comes back. This is a few red flags that tells Jordan Poulter to make a move and go play for a tip. Next few minutes, we're going to be looking at our left back defender. In this case, our libero. She's in 2 by 2 position, just like right back defender, just on the other side of the court. She stopped, facing middle of the court where things are going to happen fastest. Reading the setter, and anticipating middle blocker taking a swing her way. Now we're going to look at Tori Dixon, our middle blocker. After a serve, 
she's rushed to two by two position where she stopped and reading the game. After she reads the setter, she faces the attacker and the ball. After that, she's patiently sitting and waiting and reacting to what she reads. This time, ball deflecting up our hands, she extends the game with the platform and keeps us alive. Maybe this dig is too tight, but just enough to allow us to have another swing. Now we're going to look at our libero, Justine. She stopped two by two, making a real nice read, noticing early enough that Setter is arching her back, which tells her the ball is going to go to the opposite. She reads, makes an adjustment, and also notices that attacker won't be able to attack, but just tip the ball. She pancakes the ball, USA is in good spot to continue the rally. Like I mentioned before, USA Volleyball is trying to develop all-around volleyball players. Also, our middle blockers must be exceptional defenders. In this particular clip, we can see Haley Washington making a really nice defensive move. She serves the ball. She's rushed to 2x2. Two two. She's facing the setter, reading the game. Arms are down. She makes a nice clean move by digging the ball high and off the net. Now we're going to look at our off-blocker defensive responsibilities. At first, we're going to look at our right-side blocker responsibilities. In this first clip, you can see Annie Drews, after tipping a ball, going back to a bunch read as a blocker. Her eyes are reading the game, and she adapts to what she sees. She pulls back 10 feet off the net and 10 feet inside of the sideline, digging the ball high and off the net. In this clip, we're going to look at our right side blocker, Jordan Poulter, making a nice defensive move. After she makes a read, she pulls back 10 feet off the net and 10 feet inside of the sideline. Meanwhile, she's keeping her eyes on the attacker. What is something that attacker is giving away? This time, arm never comes back, elbow is locked. Poulter sees that and makes a nice pancake, digging the ball. This time we're going to look at Annie Drews, our zone 2 defender. Korea is running super fast slide, so fast that Annie Drews cannot pull all the way back to 10 foot line. Regardless, she makes good enough read and simple enough move to be able to dig the ball high. Luckily, Kelsey Robinson makes a really nice read, sets nice 5 set to Annie, who takes high quality swing high and deep. Now we're going to look at our zone 4 defenders. Same principles apply. Make a good read and go dig the ball, standing 10 feet off the net and 10 feet inside of the sideline. In this example we can see Jordan Larson making a good read. She notices there's a bad pass. Rush has probably one option here. She pulls back even beyond 10 foot line and makes a nice simple move with her hands. This time we're going to look at Kim Hill, number 15. She makes a nice blocking move, returns back to a bunch read, reads the setter, adapts 10 feet off the net, 10 feet inside, and digs the ball high and off the net. Again, after this nice blocking move, she returns into the bunch, pulls off the net after a good read, and digs the ball high and off with a very simple move. In this clip, we're going to have Kim Hill making another good defensive move. Kim starts in a really good position and makes an exceptional read, knowing that this player likes to tip when she doesn't have full approach, which happens often in transition. Not full approach, likes to tip in situation, Kim knows that, and digs the ball. 